If you want to put your PowerPoint presentation on the web, then you'll want to save it or publish it as a web page. And to do that, you want to click on the Office Logo button, come down and click on Save As, change the Save As type to either a single file web page here or a web page. The difference between the two is a single file web page will take all the objects in your presentation, like your smart art, your graphs, your charts, your images, and put them all into one file, easier to manage. Whereas if you publish it as a web page, it'll have a file, but then all the images, graphs, and objects will be dumped into a separate folder, but still be linked. So if you open up the web page, you'll still see them here, but it'll be put in a separate folder or directory. Okay. So first, to keep it simple, let's publish it as a single file web page. Click on it. Let's put it on the desktop, and then we'll change the title because the title is of the page when it's displayed when they come to this presentation web page, which is click OK, and then click Publish. It's going to ask what do you want to publish, the complete presentation or slides 2 through 6. Do you want to display the speaker notes, yes or no, and then what type of browser support? And then down below you can check the box to open it up once you publish it, but I won't. Once I publish it, I'll just go to the desktop where it's going to be at and open it up there. Click Publish. Give it a few seconds to publish it. Minimize the PowerPoint presentation. There it is. Everything in one file. When I double click on it, it opens up that file, including the images. Like, for example, on slide 6 in my navigation pane here. And notice the titles of some of these slides, like Captured Ghost on Film, is going to be the actual text or the text box. In this case, it's the first text before the bullets, whereas on How to Hunt Ghost Training videos, it's the first bullet. It's not including the titles. It just starts displaying the content here. Now, down at the bottom, you do have the Expand Collapse outline so you can get more detail before you, well, waste time going to a slide here by clicking on it. You can quickly scan through it and go, oh, this is about the company. Let me click on it, read more about it. You can also collapse it as well. Also, any links that you created before you publish this as a web page will also still be active. For example, on slide 6, I have this little ghost as a link that when I click on it, it'll go to the Disney.com web page. In any case, click back. So that's an example of a web page, but embedded all in one file. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that, maximize my PowerPoint presentation, and let's do this as a web page, where it's not going to be all embedded into one page. Click on the Office logo button, go down and click on Save As, change your Save As type to a web page, .html here, or htm. The page title is going to be the same, so I don't have to change it, Gops Revenue, click on publish. Do I want the complete presentation? Yes. I'm going to leave the defaults alone here. Now something's happening down below because I just recently published it as an MHT, which is the extension for a single file web page. I want to change this because if I click publish right now, it's going to say it already exists. Well, no, I want it to be as an HTM or HTML. So let me click on the browse button again and try to clean its memory as it were. See, it's still looking at an MHT. So let me change that and go to an HTML, click OK. Let's try it again. Click Publish. Give it a few seconds. It's done. Minimize. And there it is. Here's the uh, file. And then here are all the embedded objects that it didn't include in the file, unlike, well, the MHT where it did. So if I double click on the web page here, it opens it up. Looks just like the MHT or the single file web page where everything was embedded into it. But, let me close out of here, all the images, when I double click and open up the folder here, see all these images, clip art, graphs, I have to not only upload the file here, but also upload the images. And if I delete the images and I open up the file, I'm not going to see much of anything. Because again, it's all linked to the directory or the folder here, to all the images in there, and it's pulling into the presentation or the HTM or HTML page. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.